Hello, my name is Mark Kluma. I'm the CEO of Dragonglass, uh, the first gamified crypto mining experience in the world. And with me today is our advisor, Tadas Langaitis. Hello. And uh, we're about to talk about his involvement in the project. So Tadas, why did you decide to become an early supporter of Dragonglass and uh, invest in it? Well, I love the idea of uh, crypto mining. Uh, crypto, crypto mining which is available for everyone and crypto mining that uh, a grandma can actually uh, understand uh, and use. I think that the, the whole idea of bringing uh, a simple uh, mining for cryptocurrencies that is not requiring the specific, specialized, professional, expensive uh, equipment uh, is the way to bring more people into the crypto world. And uh, I find that very exciting. Um, then it's uh, done in a way of gamification. Uh, gamification is what um, really uh, turns the human motivation uh, on. Also, I believe in the sustainability of the project uh, because the team that is um, that has come together uh, is what it takes to actually uh, make this pro project a success. And uh, the model of Dragonglass token utility um, is actually making sense. It can bring a lot of value to a blockchain community by bringing more people uh, into the uh, crypto world. Um, and importantly, not to let these people down. Um, we have seen very many uh, projects, uh, ICOs, that have made a lot of um, interesting promises. A uh, few have delivered already. And where Dragonglass is different, that it already has a product. It actually has a working application uh, with a uh, playful, uh, interesting, involving game. Um, and that is already a product, actually, uh, that is being sold differently from just a crowdfunding event uh, promising to build uh, the ecosystem. So we see here a, a good product, uh, a good start, and therefore uh, it's much easier for me to believe in the team uh, developing a much larger Dragon, Dragonglass ecosystem consisting of multiple games, of a gaming platform, of a secondary market where you can actually sell the in-game items, um, many different ways of how to use the uh, Dragonglass token. Uh, so that, um, together with the also uh, a business model around it, uh, where the mining farm will be built uh, to actually sustain financially uh, the project as an ongoing concern that put together, this shows a very well thought through uh, project and a business model uh, where the token holders and token buyers will have a lot utility to the token and also may um, expect that the project will be going on for many more years to come. So actually that it won't end, then the uh, token generation uh, event funds will end. And the last point uh, we'd like to make here in, uh, for the opening is the other advisors on board. Uh, I'm very impressed uh, with uh, Jeff Burton, uh, one of the founders of um, Electronic Arts, uh, the, uh, one of the biggest actually gaming companies in the world and one of the, of the original com um, gaming companies in the world. Uh, I remember myself uh, playing uh, electronic uh, arts uh, games when I was you know, less than 10 years old. Uh, so I have a huge respect uh, and, uh, and in huge expectations actually for what can come uh, from working together with Mr. Jeff Burton and also um, James Carborough. Uh, some people say professor of gamification in Stanford University. I think that Stanford University uh, speaks for itself. Uh, I have reviewed his uh, work on gamification, where actually he's been working on uh, gamification of multiple industries, and that 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 is very interesting. Um, I'm very happy I can be part of this project. And so, that is, uh, what is it that you personally bring to the Dragonglass team? My personal uh, business experience uh, covers investment banking, corporate finance, investing in uh, uh, technology startups, uh, as well as being part of the teams that actually have. Uh, founded uh, uh, businesses and built uh, IT startups from scratch to a several hundred uh, person uh, company, uh, tens of millions in euros in uh, revenues, uh, large projects actually international markets, uh, 30 different uh, countries as, 
where the clients come from. So also uh, a significant uh, international experience, actually been to over 100 countries uh, myself uh, in previous business life. Um, so I believe all this experience actually can be reused again uh, uh, for the sake of Dragonglass uh, project uh, where it can help the management team um, to be ready for the obstacles and for the you know, challenges that are upcoming in, in uh, developing this blockchain technology startup. Also, it is worth mentioning uh, that I have invested in multiple uh, ICOs, uh, got some specific uh, understanding of actually what makes and breaks blockchain technology companies um, already. Uh, I think that that specific knowledge can be used uh, as well. I mean, the whole industry is very, very young and anybody having a six month experience is already, already actually can add value to, to the uh, new teams. Um, and in, in, in addition to that, uh, I'm a member of uh, parliament, uh, so actually um, working in the field of uh, blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies regulation, um, trying to understand really uh, what are the best practices and you know, what are the uh, future currents uh, and also uh, therefore uh, have a good understanding how the legal environment uh, is moving. Uh, and then hope to actually help it in shaping it uh, in the right way. And finally, why do you think Dragonglass project will be a success? Well, I think there are several uh, things. Um, firstly, uh, there is a ready-made, fully functional product uh, already. Uh, so therefore, during token generation event, Dragonglass uh, is selling a gamified mining experience uh, not a promise to actually do uh, something. And then on top of that, you have a very clear uh, roadmap of the other games to build, the gaming platform, a secondary market for in-game items. So actually you see that Dragonglass ecosystem uh, appearing, being built up uh, in the future. And there is sustainability uh, to the project. Uh, there is an engine being built that should sort of propel and uh, keep up the Dragon Glass team and the project going uh, forward for, for many years. That is the mining farm. Um, so it seems that it's very well thought through. Um, you have a very good, uh, clear sort of a starting vehicle. You have a good engine being built up for a long trip. Um, and you have the ecosystem and vision it's very important to understand that the technology is developing, the blockchain technologies are developing very fast and they just don't sit still. And the fact that the project will have resources uh, to keep on working, uh, to look for new solutions uh, in long term, very clearly uh, shows that this is a different project uh, from what we see mostly in the market. It's uh, sustainable, it already has a very clear value and it has a very clear roadmap to grow, uh, to go, sorry, uh, with the engine that you have. Great. Uh, thanks for watching our today's little interview. Uh, my name is Matt Luma, the CEO of Dragonglass, and with me today had our advisor, Tadus Langaitis. Please check out our Telegram community, the link is below, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see more about the project at dragonglass.com.